All right. Everything should be okay. All right, perfect. All right, guys. Welcome back. It is Monday, back from a long weekend, September 10th. And uh, we've got a nice little flyer going on in this Fred trade, up 64% already. Hopefully, everybody's been having fun. This is where early bird gets a worm. You can see that nice. Well, early bird gets the money is what we see here at Cybertrain University. But uh, let me just bring up that little chart right there. And you can see um, 830 was the good pop right there. 220 to 270. You can see, look at all these iceberg orders hitting pretty big right here. A lot of big buying, a lot of greens on the time and sales. We'll talk a little bit about that. Got about six stocks, seven stocks already going going on to the Monday, but most importantly, we need to talk about what is today. Well, not only is it Monday back from the weekend, but it is a very big holiday in the Jewish community. It is Rosh Hashanah, and what that means is that, you know, um, here in New York, there's a lot of uh, uh, people that celebrate Rosh Hashanah. So, and not only that, but the kids are all from school for the next two days. So, I'm expecting to be a little bit on the slower type of a market. So, um, don't get too cocky and too crazy on a day like today. Uh, like I said, you know, we know how to trade on, on major holidays, especially, you know, uh, you know, kids being off from school now obviously colleges are not off but public schools are closed i don't know about where you are but here they are and you know being in new york the financial capital of the world i always tell everyone unfortunately you got to work on our schedule whenever it comes when the market is slow when it's busy whatever it is uh it's just a, you know and you know, everybody wants to trade on Wall Street, not on Main Street. And that's what pretty much we're getting right now. But there are a couple of things that are moving. Remember, I always like to trade on days like this because you always get a lot of um, uh, assistance in. You know, a lot of stocks are if they're gonna, you're not going to get the great traders. are going to make things very volatile. They kind of stay out of the way. It's like almost like a Friday. But, uh, but it is a very big week, not including a lot of people took off on Friday going into this long, long week. And uh, you, know, you expect this is going to happen. Like I, like I just spent probably two hours on Friday going back with, uh, back and forth with my wife about all the days kids off from school, vacation, up until Christmas. And I can't believe some of the days these kids have off. Um, they, they extended school, but they have so many more days off. So we got to work around that schedule. Uh, I know I have to because my wife is already planning these vacation trips to go spend some money. So, <laughs> so listen, that's the beauty about it. You got to work when it's time to work. You got to you got to go out there and make the money, and then obviously you want to go out there and enjoy it. But there's a lot of good things that are are moving in today's markets, and we're going to check them out. First of all, um, let's go over and talk about what happened, um, what we missed on Friday. All right, a couple of nice little movers. OPK was one of them let me just bring up these charts right here look at this stock took a huge major hit you can see it went from six dollars down to four dollars and they had a nice little bounce um right there in the middle of the day so opk it was trading it now no but you know what it was a nice little mover we waited we had a nice little crash i always tell you i love stocks that get crushed i just love it because there's always a bounce and it might not be sound like music for other people to own the stock but unfortunately i say all the time makes for opportunities e c y t is another little stock that also let me fix the time chart here so you can see a little bit better um so this one this one also had a nice little pop there's a stock that is i'm sorry wrong stock that's a stock on my watch list i'm looking at the wrong stock amd amd had a really really nice move uh amd has been a great swing trader wasn't the greatest day trade in the middle of the, you know, you know, when we got more towards the end of the day, but she did move really nicely uh, on on uh, Friday morning. She went from like 27 to 28. That one did really well, so that one keep an eye on it. Um, that one's still been doing treating us very, very well regarding the swing trade. Listen, all these social stocks are getting killed. I mean, Twitter, you could see it took, it was a great short stock took a hit from the, you know, from Thursday, you could see from all this news that's going on, them going in front of Capitol Hill. feels like, actually, doesn't it feel like a, like almost like a year ago? It was only like, early, it was only like a, what, Monday? But you could see the stock uh, from 36 down to 30, truly really taking a beating. I'm really, I told you, I'm really concerned, you know, looking at it. Maybe it could be a buy around 28. If it holds you pretty strong, remember, volume is what makes support levels. The more trade, the more volume it trades there, the better it is. But uh, but that one was a good, uh, nice little day trade on that one, too. And a couple of other ones that we did trade, DR. And A was a nice little move too. That one had a little bit of uh, a bounce. Went from 7, 1750 down to 13. Came back a little bit. Went right back to 16. That was a great pre-market fast mover. And then BJ's uh, also 
treat us pretty well. Had a nice little short. I was getting I was getting a little depressed. I was watching the stock. I'm like, because you know, I'm a be I have a lot of shares of this on my swing trade account, and I'm like, why is stock taking a hit just out of nowhere? Somebody must have came out there and dumped a ton of shares because we're from 32 down to 30. It was like, oh my god, I was really focused on the support levels back here. Uh, I didn't want it to break it, and you could see it kind of hit. It went right back up. So listen, I'm a, I'm a long term. Uh, I'm more not more of a swing trade on this. I'm more of an investor on this trade. A little bit different of an animal, but uh, that one is also doing pretty well. And then the last but not least, I want to bring it up. A lot of you guys remember this stock, Square. Square's been doing great. Uh, we bought it. We we bought it. We sold it. We bought it back. Square's been doing great. I'm really focused on see if it breaks out of. Uh, it's getting close to that. It was a back. It's going back to the all-time highs. But that stock from 70 to 90. That that has been a great great swing trade. Also, once again. To be a good swing trader, a good options trader, you got to learn how to day trade first. And I'll keep repeating that over and over and over again. It seems like everybody does the opposite. You know, How do you know what's going up if you don't know what's going on over the course of the day? All right. Um, now, a couple of stocks that are moving this morning. Let's get back to the big winner. You can see here on the, uh, on the, on the trade station platform, up 64%. Fred, stock is, um, let's just bring it back up there. You know, right now it's kind of hovering where it kind of closed off, uh, where we just saw it a couple of minutes ago. But listen, it's already past nine o'clock, guys. I mean, that rally, you know, you had to be in right around the 830. If you had it, you should be up about 40 cents right now. Everyone should be doing awesome on that one. So hopefully you guys, um, whoever's in it, you missed it. Don't worry about it. Listen, stock still got some good movement. I'm focused on the resistance levels. People, some of you ask me, there, there she goes. It's popping out of nowhere. Uh, sh listen, don't let this $2 stock fool you. This thing's probably in, getting to a category three already. It's uh, probably going to be testing right around here. You can see back in April, it could get to that $3 price range. Looks like it's testing the lows right there. Uh, I see a lot of orders out here getting hit. But uh, let's see, a lot of buying, a lot of greens on that time and sales. So that one right now, uh, if you went to early bird to get the money, then uh, you're going to have to probably wait till the open. Next stock already, I told you earlier, ECYT. That one's also going to make the watch list a little bit more, an ex a little bit more expensive. It's a nineteen dollars stock, but the stock took a little bit of a hit. You could see it was up at the nineteen dollars price level, dropped down to sixteen, making a little bit of a comeback. It's got a uh, spreads a little bit big right now. Got good volume. Let's see how she opens up. But um, you know, once again, that spread is pretty big. TRLY been our big winner forever. Where are we? T R T L R Y. What am I doing? There I go. All right. So TLRY starting to make a nice little move again. Um, let me just fix this right here on my, on my legal pad. So anyway, this has been a great, great swing trade for us. Uh, unfortunately, I sold it. I might buy it back when it took that big little retrace. You could see when it went to almost like almost 100. It went to like 95, 96. Backed right off. I might jump back into it again. I'm going to see how it trades. But uh, the stock has been an absolute animal. It's been a great day trade. It's been a phenomenal swing trade for us in the cyber group room. So that one is going to go back and play. IGC. Cheap little stock. Stock took a big hit. You know. I want to keep an eye on it. it you know, I know the st stock's got some decent volatility. I want, I want to watch it. You know, this one uh, did pretty well for us. And CLDR, that's good. I mean, the IGC. Listen, if you're not trading, that you know, you got to do something for crying out loud. You got to buy something. I don't know what you're waiting for, but just hit the button, just buy it. What's the worst thing happens? Lose money. That's part of the game. You got to trade to learn. Can't be a deer in the headlights. Last but not least, uh, not a huge. Big net change. She's got, well, it looks like she's just backed off now. She was up, she was doing pretty well just earlier. I don't know what happened. But um, I don't know. We'll see how this stock trades. It went as high as almost as 19. Backed off. It's got some good volatility. It's got support levels here from the day before. Looks like it's testing the highs around 18, which now becomes that resistance comes to support. You can see there's that 7,000 share buyer out there that's kind of supporting that. There's the telltale window right there on the iceberg order. All right, guys. So I think I pretty much got them all. Anything I did not call out. Uh, Tim says OPK just got halted. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting any data. I see that. So OPK, we're going to keep an eye on that one. OPK. Love the halts. The halts are awesome. We have so much fun on halting stocks. All right. Love the halts. Old news, um, APK is halted from Friday. Yeah, it has, still hasn't opened up. 
I mean, still has an open up. You can see that it stopped right there, and that was it. So, listen, just put it on your watch list. I'm going to put it on my ticker. Once I see it come across my ticker, we'll know right away orders are coming in. They usually open up within a minute right after they start. Market makers start uh, adjusting their quotes. Mark, uh, Mark Cuban is short OPK. Oh, really? So, listen. And you know what? He's trading a $6 stock. You know how much scrutiny I get people there? Well, why do you trade so inexpensive stocks? Listen, at the end of the day, money's money, right? All right, guys, listen. Let's get back to work. Market opens up in less than 15 minutes. Don't forget, today's a major holiday. It's Rosh Hashanah, so don't get too crazy. Uh, kids are off from school. So um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, once again, treat it like a holiday with the market open, all right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and uh, see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Look, listen, and learn, everyone.